Hello friends, welcome back to online chalkboard. So we are coming into the last section of a chapter polynomials. We just have to discuss the exercise questions uh, and we had actually done one question from the exercise. Now the rest of the questions is left and so far if you haven't watched the previous videos, the link is available in the description box to watch those videos and then to try practicing more questions back at home. I hope you are understanding this uh, detailed explanation of each of these topics if you have any doubt you can comment and uh, if it's for the first time you are watching this videos then do please subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell icon so that you get the notification and also to share with your friends so let's get started with the exercise question question number one do question number we can do start with two divide the polynomial p of x by the polynomial g of x and find the quotient and remainder in each of the following you are given the p of x is x raised to 4 minus 3x square plus 4x plus 5 and g of x is x square equals 1 minus x. We need to find q of x and r of x. x raised to 4 minus 3x square plus 4x plus 5 just rearrange them x square minus x plus 1 highest degree x raised to 4 by x square you get x square here so x square into x square is x raised to 4 x square into minus x is x cube plus x square here we do not have an x cube term so I will have to add something here since we do not have an x cube term here you will get 0 x cube minus 3x square plus 4x plus 5. Now we can do it. Subtract 0. It becomes x cube minus 4x square plus 4x plus 5. Now degree is not less so x cube by x square equals x plus x x cube x minus x square plus x minus 3x square plus 3x plus 5 degrees raise same so minus 3x square divided by x square is equal to minus 3 minus 3 minus 3x square plus 3x minus 3 subtract and I will get 8 so quotient q of x here is x square plus x minus 3 and remainder r of x is 8 for this problem. In this problem you just have to check your x cube was missing so instead of x cube I wrote 0 x cube so, so that calculation got easier. Similarly you can do the next two questions question number 1 and 3 divide and find the quotient and remainder. And then check your answers from back if you are getting the answer good uh, or if you are not getting you can comment in the comment box. Now let's move to question number 2. Check whether the first polynomial is a factor of the second polynomial by dividing the second polynomial by the first polynomial. In this question you need to check whether it's a factor. How do we know it's a factor? If it's a factor the remainder would be 0. Let's do question number 2 here. x square plus 3x plus 1 is a factor of is it a factor of 3x raised to 4 plus 5x cube minus 7x square plus 2x plus 2 just divide and check whether we are getting 0 as the x raised to 4 you first need to check whether it's arranged in proper as descending order and every variable yeah, it's as 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. x square plus 3x plus 1. Now, 3x square is to 4 divided by x square. 3x square. 3x square. 3x raised to 4. Plus 9x cube. Plus 3x square. Minus 4x cube minus 10x square plus 2x plus 2 yeah and also 4x cube minus 4x cube divided by x square I'll get minus 4x 
minus 4x minus 4x cube minus 12x square minus 4x subtract 2x square plus 6x plus 2 minus 10 plus 12 is 2x now same degree 2x square by x square equals 2 so plus 2 2x square plus 6x plus 2 remainder is 0 so we'll say x square plus 3x plus plus 1 is a factor of this polynomial this to be done in the rough column which we had done now right therefore it is a factor since we got remainder 0 since remainder became 0 similarly you can similarly you can do the rest of the two questions you need to check whether the remainder is coming 0 or not and check with your answers from the back which is given now let's move on to third question obtain all other zeros of 3x raised to 4 and 6x cube minus 2x square minus 10x plus 5 if two of its zeros are root 5 by 3 and minus root 5 by 3 since two of its zero two of its zeros are root 5 by 3 and minus root 5 by 3 therefore x minus root 5 by 3 and x plus root 5 by 3 are the factors factors of the polynomial p of x so product of these factors is also a factor of the polynomial right so here it's like a minus b into a plus b so i can write x square minus root 5 by 3 the whole square that is equal to x square minus 5 by 3 is a factor right so we need to check divide the polynomial with x square minus 5 by 3 and then we'll get a quadratic polynomial because this is of um, 4 degree we'll divide it with p of x equal to 3x raised to 4 plus 6x cube minus 2x square minus 10x minus 5 would be divided by x square minus 5 by 3 and we'll get we will divide p of x by x square minus 5 by 3 and we will get a quadratic polynomial as coefficient and then we will find the rest of the roots by split in the middle term. So we need to divide 3x raised to 4 plus 6x cube minus 2x square minus 10x minus 5 by x square minus 5 by 3. Here, since we do not have a coefficient of x, I put plus 0x in between. Now, 3x raised to 4 divided by x square will give 3x square. 3x square, that is 3x raised to 4 plus 0x cube minus 5x square. We subtract 3x square by 3x square 0, that is 6x cube minus 2 plus 5 is plus 3x square minus 10x minus 5 now 6x cube by x square we get 6x plus 6x 6x cube plus 0x minus 10x subtract 3x square minus this is 0x minus 5 now 3x square divided by x square, I'll get 3. So plus 3, 3 into x square, 3x square, 3 into 0 plus 0, x. This is minus 5 and I'll get the remainder 0. So the, co uh, the quotient is 3x square plus 6x plus 3. So now we, need, we can find the root of by splitting the middle term. 3x square plus 3x plus 3x plus 3 because product is 9 and sum is 6 taking 3x common 3 x plus 1 plus 3 x plus 1 I'll get 3x plus 3 into x plus 1 that is 
x equal to minus 3 by 3 and x equal to minus 1. So, x equal to minus 1 and x equal to minus 1 is the answer. 3x plus 3 equals 0 or x plus 1 equal to 0. So, x equal to minus 3 by 3 x equal to minus 1. So, the answers are x equal to minus 1 and x equal to minus 1 are the rest of the roots of this quadratic of this polynomial. Look into question number 4. Given there is a polynomial p of x such that x cube minus 3x square plus x plus 2 is divided by a polynomial g of x which gives a quotient q of x equal to x minus 2 and r of x equal to minus 2x plus 4. This is what the question says. We need to find what is g of x. Find g of x. We know the division algorithm that p of x equals q of x into g of x plus r of x. Okay. So, p of x minus r of x will give you q of x into g of x. That means p of x minus r of x by q of x will give you g of x. So, here first of all we need to find p of x minus r of x that is equal to x cube minus 3x square plus x plus 2 minus minus 2x plus 4 that is equal to x cube minus 3x square x plus 2x is 3x 2 minus 4 is minus 2. So, you need to write x cube minus 3x square plus 3x minus 2 should be divided by x minus 2 to get g of x. This is what we are going to do. x cube minus 3x square plus 3x minus 2. Yeah. Here, do rough work. x cube by x equals x square. So, the first term of the coefficient is x square. x square into x is x cube minus 2x square subtract minus 3 plus 2 is minus x square rest of them comes down then again minus x square divide by x is minus x so it would be minus x minus x into this is minus x square this is plus 2x subtract again this will become 3 minus 2 is x minus 2 x, my, x by x is 1 so plus 1 x minus 2 equals 0. So, we got, we can say this answer is right because we got the remainder here as 0 because g of x is a polynomial, this coefficient should come. So, g of x is equal to x square minus x plus 1. This is the answer. So, friends, with this we come to the end of polynomials. We learned how to represent zero of polynomial on a graph and we understood what's the relation between zeros of the polynomial and the coefficients and then we learned division algorithm of polynomials and we did many problems to practice more questions and if you have any doubts regarding the question that we haven't discussed or we have discussed you can feel free to comment uh, we will be able to clear your doubts as much as possible. And if you are thinking this video is helping you do share with your friends and also be updated with our channel. We will be uh, uploading regularly the rest of the videos of class 10. So till then, uh, meet you in the next video. Thank you.